20x oversubscription on their pre-sale 2.0. 360x oversubscription on gate io this game is going to be huge 38 million market cap and i know what you're thinking it's not available yet you can't buy it that's in fake coins fake coins have been bought to that amount people have invested over 30 million dollars which have been fake tokens that have been created so i'm going to show you how to navigate to avoid those hopefully none of you have invested in them we're going to be talking about the big oversubscriptions that this is getting and what this means for the future of the game and how big it's going to be i am a monster ambassador so i am fully behind this project but i pick projects that i believe in and think this is one of the most professional teams that i've worked with in crypto because they're just great communication good vibes they have the releases to their social media like really content is insane they, they they create perfect like beautiful animations for just a random tweet and it's the effort behind the project is huge on an animation side the effort on the in the team in like advertising and contacting different we've got so many ambassadors for this it's going to be massive in the nft space for sure so let's start with where it began pre-sale 1.0 the whitelist for that people obviously filled that was it was a first come first serve basis and then they had 2.0 2.0 was unlimited amount that you could deposit and an oversubscription what this means is that people can't purchase all the token whales can't purchase all the tokens straight from the off it means that people get a percentage of the oversubscription so if it was 2x, you know, the money was 540, uh, what was it, 7.5 million. If it was 7.5 million, if it was, if people bought enough to get 15 million, um, you would get 50% of what you put in. So this is the best method, I think, in, in crypto for pre-sales because it just means everybody gets a slice. Your slice may not be big. I put in 2 BNB on this and we ended up with so went in with my my my, my work colleague that i work with on the channel um we put one bnb in each got 223 money on that which is a small slice but that's enough to buy three almost three monsters because they cost 80 money and the rest 17 i can purchase um so really really good for getting every giving everybody a chance to get hold some of this currency and they've run on multiple platforms then after that. So uh, I think they had Ignition. Or was that? Mm, that may have been Theta. <laughs> that may have been th uh, Theta and Arena. But it was, there was on an Ox Oxball. Was it Oxball? I think they were on some other platform. And on Gate.io, they had an oversubscription on their um, on their startup. So basically, Gate.io have a thing where you can same, you know, put some money in and you get a percentage of whatever the uh the raised amount raised is this raised 28.9 million dollars now the target was eighty thousand dollars that's huge and that goes to show that like that's how much people potentially would invest it's not likely to be you know people aren't going to invest that much for sure because people will have invested like you know put 10 bnb in to get their a bigger percentage overall but Look how popular this is. Let's compare it to some of the other ones that finished. We had Floki Inu, which we, we, we covered on this channel. Very similar in success. And if you look at Floki Inu, you know, look where that's gone. This is a huge market. That's not Floki. Um, we are talking a $397 million market cap on Floki Inu. That's insane. And then... And this was this got more monster infinite gained more for what was a lesser goal if we look at other things i don't know if any of these are familiar um defy warrior i've seen that before there's their their raise was 28 million over 40 usdt well that was, that was a pretty good target um so some really good things that have done really well bunny park done huge that was in the uh Top 10 Binance, MVB2. So this is a really good sign for where this where this project is going. Um, 
But you cannot buy this coin yet. Please wait. The token address is going to be posted down below. This is going to be the post, the, the token that they have stated on their website. You never ever trust Pucoin for a coin. Always verify it first and buy a little bit of the one you verified and star it so you know one which is the legit coin. So go to CoinGecko because they're now live on that. This is going to be the official token code. You can just click to copy here and then you can go to Pucoin or any other chart and post it and see if they've got it listed. Here we can see total supply is 270 million, which is correct, but it's not available yet. There's no trading on this. That is how you know it's legit because they haven't they haven't opened this to the market yet. If you look at the other ones, just look for these signs, guys. The 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 biggest sign is what's what's the, what's the chart look like? If it's going up and there's no sales in the history, it means that people are unable to sell because somebody's holding all those tokens. So, you know, if you purchased a little bit of this and then tried to sell it, it wouldn't allow you, the transaction wouldn't go through. And this is at 74 million market cap. Jesus, this is bigger than it was than I thought. This is just one of them as well. If we look at some of the others, we can see a $47 million market cap has gone into Monster Infinite and it's not a real token. Guys, there is like 10 of these. Why does it laugh? Why does it do a pretty proper search now? There's like 10 of these and they all have fair amounts in them. You know, $220,000 is not laughing money. Crazy. So stay away from these. I know there's an urgency to get this because it's going to be hot, but wait and use the link below, CoinGecko, save it up so you know if you ever need to go buy some, that that's the contract address that you put into anything. If you go into things like PancakeSwap, take that token code, contract address from there, go to trade, select the currency, paste it in there and see when if anything comes up. If it doesn't come up, it's not available on PancakeSwap. They don't have the liquidity yet. Wait for it. That's when you know it's dropped. And it'll come up as a token. You can add that. It'll give a little warning as it does for any code that it's not certain of. But once you put it in, you can then start buying it and you're in. You can start earning money. This has a an initial starting price of, I believe, 0.15 cents. So we have a really good graph here from um, Monster Infinite. Show me your graph, Monster Infinite. Show me your graph. There's your graph, Gra infographic, infographic. So we're seeing, you know, a 2x would be a 1.7 million market cap. 5x would be a 4.4. This is this is crazy because the the token price is is so. If you look at what's been spent on those two fake coins, that's a hundred thousand. We're talking somewhere between 50x and 100x for it to get to that point. It goes up, it's over over 100x, but 50 to 100, probably be, be like 120x. Guys, that's insane. If it was ever to reach the heights of that, that's, you know, those, the money that I have starts to have a, a huge value so even that little gathering that you get that you get from some of these pre-sales could be worth a lot um yeah really excited and it's not about the the token price it's not about just about that it's about what is this project and what does it look like going forward and for me it looks like a really exciting project because i'm sick and tired a little bit of automated battles that have no skill to them and their beautiful little system of switching and building combos up with their almost like um, Candy Crush style, a little diff little bit different, moving them around to get alignments and build up combos to stack up for extra damage. It has, it has an element of skill that I think is needed in this genre. Um, and the plans are huge going forward, you know. Open world, hosting events, co-building. This is... This is a big, big project. 
Um, and they've always delivered. You know, everything that they've told me that they're going to do and work towards, they've achieved. Everything's gone smoothly. When they, you know, say we're going to refund the BNB, goes through very smoothly. They seem very smart about, you know, understanding blockchain and contracts. So I have real, real big confidence in the team. And just that this, this final letter that I want to look at just really represents the ethos of this team. A letter from the CFO on money token distribution. So he talks about, you know, how we, the, you know, in, in the early days, pocket money, he spent, all he had was $50 and he invested that to get one Bitcoin. And he talks about how holding these tokens is huge, you know, going forward. It's the people who hold and wait who really, you know, see benefit of this. And, you know, it's the, you know, it's about a community effort. If we all hold, new people get attracted and the price goes up, which means more people get attracted to it. We have the power to build this game to be attractive to new people and, you know, draw people into playing it. It does require us to, to hold our tokens, though, and wait. This, they've released openly the fairness of allocation. So this shows the distribution for pre-sale 2.0 and as you can see we've got you know a huge amount of contract addresses there um who have been involved in it and the biggest person has not that big a portion of the pot so they control five percent of the pre-sale 2.0 supplies which isn't a huge amount Whales can just lump in, usually without a, a subscription, and buy up all of that, leaving nothing left for so many contract addresses. So many people's wallets will not get through and not, not be able to purchase any. So they also talked about the private sales. So just very open about you know the buying price to early people, private sale, pre-sale holders, and pre-sale too. And the discounts they got at pre-sale one and private sale. Um, some people are yelling us, why do we pay money to BNB? I mean, personally, why the hell would you not? Um, BNB is is for me the best token, best smart chain there is um, in terms of gaming, and it just works so smooth. And yes, the the prices are higher than what, what the likes of things coming in like Matic, Matic. <laughs> Damn, mind you, Matic. Um, like Matic and or Polygon um, and Cardia Chain, these prices don't, you know, the gas is nothing. But BNB is just built to have so many people on it running smoothly. Um, so I, I, the gas prices are, are, are really relatively cheap when you think of why are we not pegging it to Ethereum? Well, Ethereum sucks <laughs> and you'll be paying $100 every time you make a transaction. So. Yeah, for me, really excited about this project. As I say, full disclosure, I am an ambassador of the project. I will be continuing to work in partnership as long as they want me to. And I'm pushing this project exactly in the direction that it needs to go, which is to the moon, guys. It's the moon, I was pointing to the moon. That's all for this one. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe and keep up to date with future content. That is all from me. See you guys soon.